I'm Marcos Bielba. Uh, I would like to report about my research. Uh, the name is Selection of Key Standards to Create an Instrument Information Literacy Assessment in Compulsory Secondary Education. The prevalence of the knowledge society together with the consequence of the generalization of ICT uh, has occurred an informational ecosystem where the people is um, exposed to an information, information overload. This process is considered by some authors like information fatigue syndrome, infoblood, or infobesic. Uh, due to informational phenomena, it is necessary to acquire uh, an information literacy competencies to give answer to these problems. In these pictures, uh, we can see how is the problem and what is the solution. Well, um, information literacy is composed by five dimensions. Dimension of information need, information search, information assessment, information process, and information communication. Uh, a definition uh, is created by the Minister, Ministry of Education from Spain, and um, we find it inside the guide, uh, the guide to training the educational centers about basic competencies. And it is the ability to search, obtain, process, and communicate information and transform it in knowledge. It has different abilities from the access to the information to its transmission in different media, including the use, the use of information and communication technologies as main element to inform, learn, and communicate. So the aims of this proposal is are designing a table of specification with the dimensions, subdimensions, and performance standards of information literacy from the review, modification, and selection of standards from different handbooks. Second, doing an initial selection of the standards for the comparison between the table of specification and the Spanish curriculum content. And finally, selecting the key standards from the relative importance that they have in the curriculum. Its importance during the startup process and the importance assigned by experts on the CSP. Well, regarding the method, the design is a type of experimental for studies of type descriptive correlational with the methodology as post facto. And the sample uh, is formed by 14 experts in information literacy who belong to different branches of knowledge. About the variables and instruments, uh, we use to collect the data a questionnaire carried out with Google Drive, and they contain 42 initial standards selected from the review of handbooks and adapted to the level of secondary education in, in Spain. It is a lecker type from 1 to 10. Well, uh, we have five, 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 five phases. Um, Phase one is the review of the different handbooks about information literacy. This is the handbooks. The phase two, uh, we compare the table of specification and the Spanish curriculum in secondary education. <coughs> and it's obtaining a first score about the importance of each standard depending on the specific weighting that each of them has in the curriculum. In phase three, we create a flow chart in order to represent the main nodes and the relation. Through this process, it is obtaining a second score about the importance of each learning result. One point if the node sent a link, and two points if the node received a link. The phase four, uh, the, it's the, the last phase, is to do an evaluation of the standards by experts on that topic. And through this way, the experts value from 1 to 10 the importance of each standard, which are related with the information literacy in secondary education. Finally, it pays for the calculation of percentiles by standardized score, becoming set scores, and doing the weighted summation of these. 25% refer, 20, refers to the connection establishing between the different learning results of the flow chart, 25% refers to the comparison of the specification table and the curriculum in secondary education, and 15% is extracted from the evaluation made by experts. Well, regarding the data analysis, uh, in all phase, uh, descriptive technique, uh, we, we use descriptive techniques such as the analysis of frequency tables and calculating the average deviation and coefficient of variation. 
The selection of the final standard is proceeded from the calculation of percentiles from the weighted score of the three variables. Well, it's time to the results. Um, at the end of the first phase, we create the table of specification with four dimensions. Um, search, assessment, process, and communicate information. We remove the dimension of information need because we consider it as a constant dimension uh, during the whole process. Uh, in the second phase, uh, well, well, we have uh, 14 linear results and 42 standards. Um, regarding the result obtained in the second phase, uh, we can see these tables. Is, there are the descriptor of Ministry of Education, the standards of the table of specification, and uh, dimensions, the dimensions, no, uh, sorry, the learning results. Um, it should be not uh, B2, B3, B4, and E2. They are the, the highest. Dimension of information process and communication. Well, um, in the third phase, we make a flow chart with the principal nodes. And uh, we can see the relationship between the dimensions and the learning results. This table is the result of the flow chart. The highest is B2. <coughs> well, um, finally, uh, regarding the results obtained in the phase 4, we can see the table of frequency of a standard selection. In search, five, 5 of 12 um, possible standards, 3 of 7 in assessment, 8 of 10 in process, and finally 3 of 11 in communication. If we transform the results in set scores, we obtain this table about the average of standardized dimensions. And the dimension of information process is the most important with an average of 0.2. Conclusions. Uh, in each handbook, use its own criteria. Therefore, there are some differences between them. Different dimensions, handbook based on cognitive skills, handbook based on practice, Secondly, in the phase four, in the phase two and, and three, the information search dimension is the most vulnerable. However, in the phase four, the data obtained by experts on valuation, the information process dimension is the most valuable. Um, despite of these differences, it is important to say that all dimensions are important because all of them are related to each other. And that's all, thank you.